welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through a few new pieces that I picked up from the Lisa Eldridge Holiday Collection. I'm so excited to share the products that I picked up. And also I was able to get the foundation little bubble card. So I try on the foundation and give you guys my first impressions of it. So as soon as this launches and I can actually get a full bottle of it, I will definitely do a full day wear test, wear it for several days, do a six hour check-in, a 12 hour check-in, like I traditionally do in my foundation reviews. So this isn't like a foundation review, I just pretty much try on the foundation and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. So pretty much it's all about the lipsticks. However, one of my amazing subscribers, Alicia, she sent me the blush because I missed the launches on these blushes and they haven't come back into stock. She sent this to me and I've been waiting for a Lisa Eldridge video to try this on and play with it on camera. Here we are. Lots to say about this blush. This one is in the shade Pink Poetry. Now I know this launched a couple of months ago, but hopefully they'll come back into stock soon. So I'm gonna try that on camera, share my thoughts with you guys. I personally love Lisa Eldridge's lip glosses. In fact, I can't stop staring at myself in the monitor because right now I'm wearing the new lip liner in the shade Petal and I put that shade all over the lips, like inside and around the line. And then I put the shade Petal of the gloss on and it is like, <gasps> I'm here for it. I am here for this lip combination. It's so beautiful. So in the video, not only do I try on all the products, but I also swatch the foundation cards that I have and also all of the lip products that I have from Lisa Eldridge, from the new ones to the ones that I've already had in my collection. So let's go ahead and jump into the applications and I will see you guys all in my final thoughts. Who else is excited about Lisa Eldridge foundation? I know I am. I've got this big craziness crater coming up. I'm using that Obagi skincare, and so it's bringing a lot of gunk from the underneath to the surface, which, you know, I'm not mad about it. When you're ordering these like high anticipated products, um, I hurry and order what I want and then I check out because you want to get it before it sells out. So that's what I did. So I ordered a few of the lipsticks and the stuff that I wanted, like the things that I had on my list. And then once I checked out and I was like, okay, I got those, they're in the bag. I went back on the website and I was like, ooh, but I really wanted this and this and I kind of forgot about it. So I actually ordered two separate orders. Because of that, I got two separate cards. My skin is like a medium with a golden undertone. So I'm like medium to tan with a golden undertone. The medium to tan all depends on the brand because not every brand has like the same range. So I picked up the medium set number one and also the medium set number two. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be using all of these, but the bubble is not a lot of foundation, but I think it's enough to try it at least once on the skin. But I will swatch these shades that I have later on the swatches so that you guys can see these shades in case you're interested in buying this foundation when it comes out. So number 17 is medium with a golden olive undertone, which will probably match me. Number 18 is a medium with golden undertone. Number 19 is a medium with a neutral undertone. Number 20 is a medium with rosy red undertones. Now I do have fake tan on, which I'm gonna be wiping off tonight because look at my arms. I tested out a new fake tan. This is like redonkulous. I think I'm gonna be between 18 and 17. Okay, so that's 18. And that's 17. Okay, so 17 is too light. I'm thinking that number 18 is probably gonna be the right shade for me. Let me kind of blend it in. It might be a little golden, but I think 18 is gonna be a good shade. 17 is just, I think, a little bit too light. This has been the foundation that I've been wearing a lot recently. I've been loving it. So this is the Beauty Blender uh, bounce skin tint in the shade tan two and it kind of melts into my skin once I get it on and I think it's similar to number 18. I'm gonna put on number 18. Okay so let me kind of wipe this off really fast. How I like to apply my foundation anyways is I like to use a brush and kind of spread it all over the skin and then I like to go in with a sponge and kind of push it into the skin. So I'm gonna be using a clean brush this is the Sonia G Jumbo Base, which is another favorite foundation brush of mine. I'm gonna take it off the lid. 
and start applying. That might look like a lot, but it's really not. By the way, I don't have any fake tan on my face. It's all worn off. I put some on like two weeks ago. It's still stuck in my hairline. You guys see that right up there? <laughs> Uh, it's still stuck in my hairline, but I obviously my face is way lighter than my skin. And another reason why that is, is because my, I'm using Obagi, so I'm using a really strong exfoliator. So it has exfoliated a lot of my skin. So it's just a lot lighter <laughs> than normal. I still have about this much left in the bubble. So I'm really not using like a ton of foundation and I'm getting pretty nice, decent coverage. So I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit here on the spaces that I feel like I need a little bit more. And my brush is clean. So, you know, you always get a better application with a clean brush but I really don't feel like I need to go over this with a sponge. I kind of feel like when I do, I don't want the sponge to kind of pick up a lot of this because I don't have a lot to spare. You know what I mean? I only have one little teeny bubble here. This is really pretty. Now I underneath this is my regular skincare. And then I did put on some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Um, I always like using that as a base. So it dries to a powder finish, but it doesn't feel like it's super powdery. Like it still feels very skin-like. I am kind of excited about this, you guys. Like, I think this is gonna be a really beautiful foundation. So I went ahead and wiped the foundation off my lips because I always have to put, I can't stand foundation on my lips. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. So then I grabbed my Tatcha. Uh, this is the Red Camellia Lip Balm. It's one of my favorite lip balms. I'm almost out. Don't worry, I got three on backup. It's my favorite. This is a beautiful foundation. This blended into the skin in such a gorgeous like skin way. You can kind of tell that a makeup artist created this. It's really beautiful. Okay, so let's jump into the blush. This blush I've had for a minute, you guys. This is the Seamless Skin Blush. And I have to say, I have a subscriber who has spoiled me absolutely rotten. Her name is Alicia and she has sent me so many amazing things and she knew that I missed the blushes. So when these launched, I missed the, I think I was on vacation. I don't know, something happened. I was not on my phone something and I missed the launch and they completely sold out and I didn't get any of them. She heard me say that on camera and so she sent me one of them and I am forever grateful. I've had it sitting in the back waiting for her to launch more products so that I could kind of do it in one. So I'm going to be using the blush for the very first time. I would not have this if it was not for her. So thank you so much, you know I love you. So this is the shade Pink Poetry. And of course it's a very poppy shade, but once you blend it out, I mean you can see it really blends a really long way. It's almost a velvety texture, but not. So it's like, not quite fully velvety. You know what I mean? It's it's very skin-like. I did watch Lisa's video and she said that applying it with the hands is the best way to apply it. I do not like applying cream blushes with my fingers. I feel like I don't have quite the control, but this is the product that she created. So I am going to apply it like she suggested. So I'm just gonna put a little dab here and then I'm gonna use like my other finger that doesn't have anything on it and blend it out. I have it here on this middle finger and I blend it out with the ring finger and then if I need to add more product, I go in with my middle finger to add more. Now I'm gonna take the brush and kind of 
blend those edges. Okay, so this formula is really pretty and it's definitely skin-like, but you can see that it immediately became a little bit transparent. What I mean by that is you can see the coverage that I have over here and I had the same coverage here, but as soon as I put that cream blush on, you can see all of these little imperfections like, you know, my hyperpigmentation or dark spots comes through the blush. So this is that type of formula. So this is definitely more skin-like when you're wearing like a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer. But if you're, if you're wearing foundation that is like a full medium coverage like I'm wearing right now, this is not a cream blush that I would personally reach for. This is definitely one that I will keep in like my bathroom and I will grab when I'm wearing those tinted moisturizers. But that is a really pretty color. It's really poppy and just really beautiful, but it does allow that hyperpigmentation to kind of come through. It kind of makes your foundation a little bit transparent. See how that dark spot immediately just popped through? So just know that, just know that it's one of those formulas. I'm gonna go over it with my brush that has a little bit of powder on it. The nice thing that I do like about this is like once you get it on, you can kind of blend it out with a brush and kind of like perfect it a little bit more. This formula does kind of allow you to have control even with the finger application. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the lips. Okay, so let's move on to the products that I picked up for the lips. I was so excited about these shades. Ah, I wanted everything, but I couldn't buy everything, so I had to kind of pick what I wanted. The color that I wanted the most was the color Petal, so I bought everything in the color Petal. <laughs> so I bought the lip liner, I bought the lipstick and the gloss, and I am so excited. So we're gonna start with the shade Petal. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the lipstick without the lip liner first. So you guys can see what the shade Petal looks like alone. I definitely would prefer this shade with a lip liner, but this is a beautiful shade and can definitely be worn without a lip liner. I'm gonna wipe this off. Let's put on the gloss and then we'll do the lip liner and the lipstick. So this is the gloss in Petal. Oh, she's pretty. Now, Lisa has beautiful glosses. Her glosses are pigmented, but they're not gumpy, so they don't, like your lips don't wanna like stick together. She has the prettiest gloss formula. It's just beautiful and it's very pigmented. I have others that I'm gonna share with you guys, but this is really pretty. Okay, let's wipe this off and then I'm gonna put on the lip liner, the lipstick, and then the gloss over top. Now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. Let me just say this, this lipstick was beautiful on its own, but the lip liner, I don't know, it makes the lips look a little bit fuller and I prefer the lip liner with this. That's the lip liner and that's the lipstick. So they're pretty much the exact same shade and I love that because it allows you to give yourself a fuller lip with the lip liner and then going in with the lipstick. So I, I am excited about that. Okay, let's go in with Petal Gloss Over Top. I'm so excited. Okay, I love her glosses. Okay, now that is a beautiful combination. And that is the reason, this right here is the reason why I bought all three because this is such a beautiful combination. I'm here for it. This is pretty. So the other glosses that I picked up was Songbird. Oh, cause that shade is stunning. And I also picked up Cinnabar. Now I was going to get the lipstick in this, but I decided not to. And I kind of regret it now because I really love the color of the gloss. Okay, let's put on the shade Songbird. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on just alone. So it has a peach base to it, but once you put it on, it kind of gives a little bit of a clear base, but it's really pretty. I like that shade a lot, actually. Okay, let's put on Cinnabar. Oh, I regret not getting the lipstick in this. Oh, that's so pretty, right? That 
That gloss is gorgeous. Holy smokes, that gloss is beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the one from Fenty. Now, the one from Lisa is a little bit more on the cinnamon side. This one is definitely more brown. So this is the one from Fenty in the shade Cookie Jar. So this is Cookie Jar from Fenty and this is Cinnabar, but they look very similar, right? This is so fall appropriate. I really, really regret not buying that lipstick. Gosh dang it, that's pretty. I got one more velvet lipstick for you. And this is in the shade Blush Lightly. That is a pretty pink. Her velvet lipsticks are really beautiful. They are very comfortable to wear. The one thing that I will recommend when using her lipsticks, because they have that like velvet texture to them, I would only recommend untwisting it about this much because I've had mine break. See, I've had them break like this, right? So they like, I've had this one break from the base and it was because I was, I did it about like, I'll show you. I was putting it on like this. I had it out like this and I was putting it on and it broke. So I would not recommend untwisting them too far. So when you're putting them on, only twist them up to the to where you need it. And you don't wanna unscrew it too far because actually I've had two break. Don't get me wrong, they were great about replacing them, but I've had two breaks, so just FYI. These are the new shades that I picked up from the Lisa Eldridge collection. I'm trying to decide which lippy combo I wanna wear. I'm gonna go in with the shade Petal on my lips. I'm gonna put Petal all over my lip. Okay, so that's the lip liner in Petal. Now I'm gonna go in with the gloss in Petal because that is my favorite shade. I love this. Having the lip liner underneath that gloss Oh my gosh, it is like perfection. It's so beautiful. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the swatches. I'm gonna swatch all of the products for the lips that I have from Lisa Eldridge. And of course, I will let you guys know which shade is new and which shade is old so that you know. And then we will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts. First, I wanna talk about the foundation. I'm actually really excited about this foundation because I can tell you that as this, as I put it on, I could tell that this is a very, very like soft matte, but very natural. So it's not really matte, but it kind of has that very soft matte finish, but in a very skin-like way. I'm really excited about this. I think the number one thing that I'm personally loving about this foundation is just how smooth my skin looks. So like, especially right here, it looks flawless. Like, I didn't even feel like I needed to put on any of the Charlotte Tilbury powder in that area. And like right here on the center of my forehead, gorgeous. This is a pretty foundation and I'm actually really excited about it. And I feel like this is a good shade for me. So. I will leave shade matches in the description box down below so that you guys can use it as a reference. And of course, as you saw, I did swatch the shades of the foundation, so I hope that those swatches were helpful. But I love this foundation. Like, of course, I don't, you know, of course I haven't worn it all day. It's not like it's a wear test, 
But first impressions, just based on the way that it's wearing, I feel like this is one of those foundations that will last for hours because of the texture of it. Like all in one, it's so natural. Like I keep looking in the monitor and I'm like, my gosh, my skin looks so smooth. And I think for those that have enlarged pores, this is gonna be a foundation you're gonna wanna check into. And a little bit of it goes a really long way and I love the coverage of it. I mean, I used a tiny bubble and this looks beautiful. So I'm actually really excited about the launch of this foundation. And I remember when I posted it on Instagram, I first said it was a foundation because I thought that's what it was, but she hadn't announced that it was a foundation quite yet. So then I was like, wait, I'm gonna delete that because I am like speaking out of turn. Like it may not be foundation, but it ended up being foundation. But I am so excited to buy this. Like as soon as this is available, I am definitely picking it up. I also appreciate the fact that she will be selling the shade uh, cards, like these little bubble cards on her website. I am so excited. It looks so beautiful over wrinkles. It looks really natural. And I just love how smooth my skin looks. That, in my opinion, is the number one thing that I'm loving about it. I think that's the one that's standing out is how skin-like it is and how smooth it is. It's beautiful. So I have high hopes for this. So of course, once we get the full size, I will do a full review on it. I will wear it for a couple of days. I will do midday check-ins, 12-hour check-ins. I will really put it to the test. This was kind of like a first impression, but I am very excited about this foundation. I can tell you, this is beautiful, very natural. Now, as far as the blush, I think I pretty much covered how I feel about the blush, but as it sat on my skin, I feel like it's looking better and better. Uh, I love the color of this. Absolutely love the color. The pink poetry is gorgeous. This is going to be something that I am definitely gonna wear on the days that I'm not filming and I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer and I'm not wearing my, very much makeup and I just throw some mascara on and I'm out the door. That is this, that's the kind of vibes this gives me. Uh, this is really pretty. I, as far as the lippies, of course I love them. They're beautiful. Um, I love her formula, her velvet formula. And I also, for me, I would say my favorite thing in her lip collection is her glosses. I think she's got one of the best gloss formulas out on the market. So I always jump at the chance to get her glosses because I just love them so much. And these are beautiful. Like she did a great job on her holiday collection and I'm excited. So that's it for the video, you guys. Sand off down below in the comment sections. What did you guys pick up from the Lisa Eldridge holiday launch? Share with us, let's have a conversation. Let's chat about it. I'm super excited to hear what you guys picked up. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, bye.